Hey, I'm Jaren, and you've stopped by on a great day because we're going to be taking a look at some of the new features in Cubase 14, starting with a new way that we can create drums called the drum track. Let's go ahead and make a drum track. And here we can see that we have our familiar pad layout. Let's start with a kick. If we click kick, we'll see that we have four presets. But what's really cool is that this is a drum synthesizer. So these kicks are not samples. These are not static audio files. We can manipulate all of the parameters and characteristics of these sounds. So these presets are really just starting points. Let's start with kick one. And now we've got kick one on our pad. Nice and subby. And if we look at the controls we have on this drum machine, on this drum track, we've got control over the oscillator, the click, the pitch, the amp envelope, the distortion, and the amplifier, among some other things as well. We have all the main controls right here. Let's dial in a nice little kick sound. I already like how subby that is. Let's make it a little bit more muted by turning down the tone over here in the amplifier. I don't want the sound to last quite as long, so we're going to turn down the decay of the amp envelope. It's at 50, so let's turn it down to about 25. Maybe a little bit longer. Let's go to 35. I like that. Let's keep rolling. Let's bring in a snare. I'm feeling a rim sound. So we're going to go to pad two, go to snares, and we've got rim shots or rims at the end here. Let's go for rim shot one. Classic drum machine kind of sound. Let's turn down the tone. We've got effects for each pad, delay and reverb right up here. Let's dial in a little bit of reverb. It's a little too much. Let's bring it down. Still a bit too much. I like that. Let's see how the kick and the snare sound together. Now let's get a hi-hat in the mix. I have an idea for the hi-hat. I want to try to get a lower velocity hi-hat or a low volume hi-hat and a higher velocity hi-hat and use them in combination. We'll go to our third pad, go to the hi-hats. Let's go for a closed hi-hat here. I'm just going to choose the first preset because we can always change it and dial it in because it's a synthesizer. Okay, nice and bright. I'm a fan of muted drum tones, so I'm probably going to be turning the tone down on most of these sounds. I tend to like to put at least a touch of reverb on pretty much all the drum sounds and percussion sounds other than the kick. We could use even a bit more. Bit much. That feels nice. Let's get the hat in the mix. And now let's get that second hi-hat so that we can spice it up a bit more. We'll go to pad four. I'm going to grab closed hi-hat preset two. Going to preemptively turn down the tone. Okay, let's put a little more reverb on that. Let's turn down the tone even more. I like that. Let's make it shorter. Let's turn the amp envelope down so it's a shorter sound. Let's tune it up a bit. Let's turn down the tone even more. And maybe even a little bit less decay. And I'm actually going to go back to the other hi-hat and turn the decay down on this one. I want the hi-hats to be really short. Let's spice up the groove with this second hat.
Now let's add some percussion. I want to add two percussion sounds, and I want them both to be on pads close to the hi-hats so that I can play them with the same fingers I'm playing the hi-hats with. So we'll go right above the first hi-hat. Let's grab a percussion sound. Let's see, we've got cowbells, maracas, claves, congas, noise. There's an FM sound generator. Let's try maracas. Let's put some reverb on it, turn the tone down, and let's hear how it sounds. Let's shorten it up a little bit. Let's turn the level down. Let's bring it up a little bit. I want it to match the volume of the hi-hats. That feels good there. Let's add another percussion sound. I'm gonna put this one above the second hi-hat so there's a little four pad space on our pad layout for all of the percussion and hi-hat sounds. Let's do a conga on this one. Let's go for conga one. Let's add some reverb, turn the level down a little bit, the tone down a little bit. That's cool, I like that. What if we pitch it up? Turn the tuning up. How high does it go? That's nice, I like that. Let's turn the decay up so it lasts a bit longer. Let's see what kind of vibe we've put together with this kit. Drum track is a great way to construct a kit so that you can quickly establish a rhythmic foundation for a track, which is exactly what we're going to do next when we use Cubase 14's new pattern sequencer to build these sounds into a full drum track. See you there.